Hey everyone, Aja here from Pandemonium. We ended up staying here at Cabela's in Post Falls and it was pretty quiet all night long. They have a lot of RV parking here. We're gonna go ahead and head out of Post Falls and head back to Coeur d'Alene, but I wanna go in and do some shopping. I don't know if I'm gonna make it all the way to Coeur d'Alene because tomorrow I know I do wanna camp there at the lake, so I might wait till the morning to go. There definitely were a lot more RVs here when I came here yesterday. Now there's only fifth wheels and myself. But yeah, they definitely have a lot of parking. This is all RV parking. And also they allow RV parking around the rim over there. It's a huge parking lot. Momo sniffing around. Go pee pee before we go inside. They do have dog kennels out here if you have larger dogs and don't want to bring them in the store. But fortunately Cabela's is dog friendly. Yay, Moo Moo! Well, those are pretty neat. They're off-road utility trailers. And they are $1,500. All aluminum. Wow. Nice rugged tires. There's the one tire, and then there's the bigger ones that are two tire. They're made for ATVs. But I'm sure you could use them for anything else. Wow, they sure do have a lot of kayaks. Kayaks there, there's more kayaks, and even more kayaks. Here's the sign right here. No, it's not a service dog sign. It says animals must be on leash and under control at all times. Customer is responsible for all property damage and or personal injury caused by their pet. Go ahead. <laughs> oh wow, look at that tent. That puts mine to shame. Let's take a look inside. Come on, Mama. Go. Go. Good girl. <laughs> oh, it even has a wood-burning stove. Nice. Yeah, this is definitely a tent. What do you think, Mimu? Are you getting caught around the center pole? Does it even have a center pole that goes straight up? This is definitely nice. I like that camping cover. Only $99. <sighs> nice. You need binoculars, they have tons of them. Here the moo moo. <laughs> they have a huge gun section. The whole wall is nothing but guns. They even have a gun library. That's pretty neat. Now this is what I've always wanted to learn. The crossbow. Not for hunting, just I just want to know how to do it. Awesome. What is it, Moo Moo? Is that your friend? You want to go say hello? <laughs> I don't think he's going to say hello back to you, though. She's like, ugh, no fun. Oh, they have the Champion Generator over here and also the Yamaha, but these are more expensive than the Harbor Freight one. Not by much, though. This one's only $8.99. I think Harbor Freight was 7 something. It doesn't have a monitor on it, but it does have an engine start and then also the actual 30 amp that fits. You don't have to have an adapter for this one. A couple hundred dollars more. This one's a 35 and it has the push button electric start also, but it has the wireless remote start, which is awesome. Oh, I wish that fit. This is pretty cool. I know a lot of truck owners and they have a wheel well box. So it fits right over the wheel well because that's usually an odd place and you can't fit anything over that. So yeah, it's nice for storage. You don't want to mess with those. Those are traps, Moo Moo. Bad, bad things. Yeah, that'll hurt your foot. You love Cabela's. They have a lot of stuff that you can look at. Spend hours in this store. Oh, looky! A bright yellow plane. 
has a cool privy tent, has ventilation on the sides. Oh, look at all the big fishies on the wall. Ooh, swordfish. Ooh, another swordfish. Wow, look how big that blue catfish is. Um, 150 pounds, 56 inches. It's huge. Wow, bluefish tuna, 400 pounds. I didn't know they got that big. Paddlefish, 175 pounds. That is weird looking. They even have a shooting gallery here. Pretty neat. They do have a restaurant in there, so I'm gonna go check it out, grab some to eat, but I'm gonna put Moo Moo in the RV first because I'm sure they don't allow dogs in the restaurant area. What do you see, Moo Moo? What do you see? You don't wanna leave? We're gonna go back because I'm hungry, so I'm gonna take you back to the RV. The restaurant here has a deli, a grill, and also pizza and some appetizers, but I end up getting the fish sandwich. Doesn't that look amazing? Yummy. And fries. I really love fish sandwiches, and this one's pretty good. The roll is really nice and crispy, and the fish is just not soggy at all. I did um, have pepper jack cheese put on it. Ugh, so good. Oh my goodness, I'm so full. I only ate half of my fish sandwich. It was just too much and I'll finish the other for dinner, probably with a salad. Moo Moo's been such a good girl and she hasn't been out all day other than just to walk around the Cabela's parking lot and inside the store with me. But I think she wants to get out at a park. So how I find the parks usually is I look up hiking trails on Google Maps and it brings up all the parks and hiking trails. Um, I found one and I'm gonna go there and see how it is. No, not soda, unsweet tea. So we made it here to the park and I did see a hiking trail. I believe it leads down to the water. So let's go check it out. Bye Panda, see you in a little bit. There are two different ways to go, that way and this way. I believe this way leads to the water so we're gonna go in this direction. Awesome, they have a big nice green field that goes all the way around. This is Blackfish Park and Hiking Trail here in Post Falls, Idaho. Hold it, Mumu. So the path splits here, but I can see the water through the trees right there. So I'm gonna head this way. Oh, cool bridge. Ah, oh, there's the water right there. It was closer than I thought. They have a bench here where you can sit and enjoy the view. Isn't that beautiful? Stretch my legs out. Boom, right there. That house is really pretty. It's a closer shot of it. Yeah, that's beautiful. This is a great path. It goes right along the water's edge and it just loops around. I believe the water does as well. I think there was something in South Carolina that was kind of like this, except it didn't have the water on the side. It gives me that kind of warm, fuzzy feeling. The feeling of home. <laughs> so pretty here. Oh wow. So I have a strange feeling that this trail is not very long at all. So there are little side trails. I might take those just to extend my hike. Moo Moo, look how clear the water is. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. That view is stunning. They definitely have the view right there at that house. I believe these side trails are for bikes and stuff, but we're still going to take it. It goes along the water. There's another bench there. Oh, there's several more cottages and homes across the way. Oh, duckies. Ducky, ducky, duckies.
Yeah, this definitely is a bike trail. I can see the tire tracks. Although I'm not sure how much further it goes. It looks kind of hard to get through there. But I don't plan on going that much further. I just wanted to get Moomoo out and about. We decided to stop and sit for a little bit. The sun is going to be going down soon. But I just had to stop here and enjoy this. So peaceful and relaxing. Can't beat the view. We're just here, right on an edge, near the water shore, but not right by it. Just sitting on the edge. It's not that, that not that far down. <laughs> oh, that sun is bright. And I brought my jacket, it's starting to warm up a bit. It was chillier earlier, but it's kind of warm now. Cruising down the river. definitely seems like a calm place to take your boat on. The path does continue on, but I believe we're going to turn around. I'm not sure how long it goes. That's probably kind of hard to see because the sun's shining right in the lens. We decided to continue on for a little bit more and the path is kind of you can barely see it. There's a path that leads down that way, and there's a open place there. I guess that would be good for picnics and stuff. Hey, good girl. See, there it is right there. Yeah, that'd be a nice place to hang out. Although I think now there's a house right there, and I see a boat through the trees, so definitely have to turn around because I think it becomes someone's property right here. All right. We have to trek back through the woods and find the trail. I saw an upper trail and had to follow it and it leads to, I think this is the other side of the path because the path went in two directions. I think this is the other side. So we're just going to follow this back and hopefully it leads to Panda. Isn't that beautiful behind me? I had to stop or actually turn down the volume on my hiking app because every time I stopped or started it would say workout stopped, workout started. Got a bit annoying, so hopefully we don't have to hear that anymore. <laughs> I'm for certain this leads back to where we started because those are the woods that we were trekking through just a moment ago. City of Post Falls, history of Post Falls. There's some information if you want to pause and read that. Squirrely, squirrely in the tree. Jump, jump. <laughs> Here's some of the birds in the area. We have the house finch. Morning dove, not like morning, but actual morning dove. And then the um, pygmy nuthatch. Okay, I know where we are actually. We're on the upper path, the one that split. So we go back this way and that's where the RV is. And there is another path that keeps on going. I might do that, I'm not sure yet. There's the lower path that we were on. Some of the pine tree varieties that they have here are the western white pine. Idaho State Tree, Log Pole Pine, and Ponderosa Pine. See something, Moo Moo? Huh? This bush in front of me actually looks like a blueberry bush. Very similar. Not sure exactly what it is, but I don't think it is a blueberry bush, but it does look similar. It does have blueberries on it, and they are kind of dried up and shriveled. I guess it's that time of year. This is some of the wildflowers that they have here. Shake it off, shake it off. It's a pretty nice bridge. It was built in 2008 by Troop 206 Eagle Scouts. It's right over a wash that leads into the waterway. All right, Moomoo, come on. Let's go this way. I'm gonna take Moomoo through the grass so she can play a little bit. And this was the field I was by earlier. It's not that big, but it's a nice size. Smell it, what'd you smell it, huh? Got clovers all through the field. Here's the clover flower. I used to boil this and make a nice tea. It's very mild tasting. They have two different kinds, the white and the purple color. This is not the clover, but this is the color that the other was. Kind of that lavender, light purple. It's a really pretty rock retaining wall. 
we've made it to the other side and there are side trails i don't know if i want to take those we're going to follow this i don't think this goes much further well i was right to say it doesn't go on much further it did just a bit but not too much that is definitely one of the cutest picnic areas i've seen i really like the fabric up top the tables are just tables but we're gonna head back uh, it's almost dark and I want to get to the place I'm going to boondock tonight, which is probably just another Walmart or something, until I get to the lake where I'm going to probably do a, um, a campground. It's $30. But it does include water, electric, and sewage. I don't think that's too bad. That's kind of average. I've seen cheaper, but I'm not going to complain because I rarely pay. Mostly I do free camping, but every once in a while I don't mind paying. It goes from the wild to nice and maintained and nothing beats green, green grass. I think Mumu would agree with that. She loves grass. We love to lay in grass. I made it to the Walmart and like I said, about a week ago I spent one night here and there were no problems. There is a dollar store right across the street. I'm going to go over there and check out if there's anything I could use because I do need um, one or two items and hopefully I can find them cheap there. Look at that RV right there. I'm not sure if you can actually see it. I'm trying to zoom in as far as I can. But I think they're using the folding legs of a table which is a neat way to prop up and secure your panels. That's, I didn't, never thought of that, but that's really neat. It's one of those folding tables, the legs that fold under, so they have their panels completely hooked to that. Definitely a neat idea. I wanna thank y'all for hanging out with me today. Tomorrow, I plan on going back to the lake. I'm just gonna hang out here. They do have a gas station here. I'll fill up and then head over to the lake, to the campground, which is 30 bucks. So, yay. I will see y'all in the next video, hopefully. Until then, stay safe and onward bound, everyone. Love you out there. Bye for now.